welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. Welcome to the Kingdom Age channel, the Latter-day Mountain of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4, the Latter-day Mountain of Isaiah 25, a mountain of food that's foretold to remove the shame and the guilt off all people of love if they will let their love flow and transcend because until we leave the place of our own confinement, until we get ourselves out of the box, until we go beyond what we have understood, we are stuck and we can never become the people that we are supposed to be. So you have to get out of your comfort zone or you can never even really begin to live. So light the candle of hope, the candle of peace, the candle of kingdom age truth that is now coming now. Verily, verily, I say unto you that prayer is the advocate of the soul and it's time that we say prayers for this world to become much more loving so that the kingdom age can yet arise. Love from love, hope from hope, mercy from he who is all merciful. He is the beneficent, the magnificent. He is the majesty of majesties, hero of heroes. And in these days, he needs us to realize that prayer is the medicine of the spirit and the defense of the heart. But prayer is also the weapon of faith and the brittle of man's senses. For prayer alone is the salt of flesh that suffers not to be corrupted by sin. I tell you truly, truly, that prayer is the hands of a man's life, whereby someone that prays is defending themselves uh, in the day of judgment because it keeps their life light on, their love alive as a little child moving and walking in the spirit of love so that there is no condemnation over them ever. And for uh, those keeping your love alive, uh, Judgment Day will be only of our rewards. Glory be, God has faith too. He sees us not as we are, but as we shall be in under his glory and under His, the brightest smile of his magnificence. And praise God, people, that he is given now unto us his kingdom age covenant. For he says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. Write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught in me anymore. All shall know me from the least to the greatest. So praise God that he who prays will help keep their souls from uh, the, sending the lovelessness sin of our own selfishness. And I tell you truly, Jesus said, all sin shall be forgiven, even sin against him, he said. So if not believing in him were to be a sin, even that would be forgiven. What cannot be forgiven is us letting our love wax totally cold so that we enter the land of the walking dead, having a form of the appearance of love, but denying the power thereof. Who is God in us? Those who love are born again of him and know him because he is God. He is love, First John 4, 7. So we must not have our, our love become a noun. It's got to be a verb. It's got to be like when we were a child. And all people have known him when our love was alive because there's never been any uh, on planet Earth. There's never been any true uh, divine love unless it was unconditional. So it's time that he who prays will not be touched by evil desires. And uh, so it's discipline. And it came to pass that uh, it is true, that to understand what is truth, people have to realize this. And if you ask yourself, what is truth? Truth, one and absolute, is in God alone. For no man, neither any body of people, anyone, no one knows that which God alone knows, who is the all in all of all people. To all of people, truth is revealed according to our capacity to understand or receive. One truth has many sides and people see things differently. One person sees one side only, while another sees another side. And then some see more sides than other. 
uh, according as it has been given unto them. Behold any crystal, how one light shining through it becomes manifest in twelve faces, yea, four times twelve. And each face of the crystal reflects a single ray of light. And one person regards one face, and another person regards another face. But it is still, no matter what, even though they're seeing things differently, it is still one crystal and one light that shines through all. Behold, again, when a few men climbs a mountain and re reaches one height, one says, there is the top of the mountain, let us reach it. But then when they finally have reached that height, all of a sudden they see another mountain peak just before that they couldn't see before, a higher truth, until they come to that height from which no other height could be seen, so that if they could attain it, that they could know the truth, truth. So so it is with truth the lord says i am the truth and the way and the life and he has given all of us the truth that he has received from above and he says by his spirit of prophecy and that which is seen and received by one is often not seen and received by another that which appears to be true to some seems not true unto others for they who are in the valley sees not as they who stand upon a mountain top but to each it is one truth as one mind sees it during that time until a higher truth is revealed unto the same and to the soul who receives a higher light they sh shall be given more light wherefore therefore Wherefore, therefore, condemn not any one others, so that you be not condemned. For the spirit of truth which comes from above shall guide every one of honesty who seeks the glorious light of unconditional love, which is the only divine love that ever has existed, albeit through all your wanderings, to look unto his blazing truth of the fire, of the refiner's fire of his love, because it is even as the fiery cloud that will guide uh, a new generation of the people of Israel as the 144,000 uh, torches arise to be torch uh, blazers. So these are the days that we all have to be faithful to the light that we have until a higher light has been given unto you. Therefore seek ye first the kingdom of God, seek ye more of his light of love, and then you shall have it abundantly and rest not until you found it. But if you have stumbled on this channel, you have found it. So praise God that God gives all of us truth as a ladder with many steps and it that that truth is for the salvation and the perfection of our souls and the truth which seems truthful today will all of a sudden will have to abandon it for a higher truth that we'll discover tomorrow so as we press into perfection so one thing's for sure whatever keeps whoever keeps the holy law of love that god has given us the, the same shall have their souls saved everlasting. We have that inheritance now. No matter how differently people have seen the truth which God has given. Many shall say, Lord, Lord, uh, I believe this, I did this, I believe. And he's going to say, I don't know you, you let your love die. Uh, and they'll say, we've been zealous for your truth. But I'll say, no, you've only been zealous that other people see things as you have seen and only as you see. And if they don't see like you, you, you spit out their truth. And such shall see no other truth aside from the one that they believe. They won't let it go. They got to erase childhood type tapes, even if their truth has been twisted into lies. Faith without charity is dead. Love is the fulfilling of the law. How shall faith in what they receive profit them that that hold it in unrighteousness. They who love have all things, and without love there is nothing worthwhile. They don't see that. So let each person hold, a, hold, hold on to the truth, whatever truth, in love, knowing that where love is not, truth is a dead letter anyway, and profits nothing anyways. Three abide, goodness, truth, and beauty, but above the greatest of these is the goodness of love. And if any have hatred for their fellows and harden their hearts to the creatures of the Lord God's hands, how can they see truth unto salvation, seeing that their eyes are blinded and their hearts are hardened unto God's 
creation. As I have received the truth, so have I given it unto you. So let each receive it according to their light and ability to understand. And persecute, stop persecuting those who receive different interpretations of your truth. For truth is the might of God, and it shall prevent prevail in the end over all errors. But the holy law of love which the Lord has given is plain for all, and it is just, and it is good. So let all observe it for the salvation of their souls as they do not uh, commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So help you, God. <laughs> love you all. And remember, all of our righteousness is as filthy rags. It's of no consequence. And all of our understandings have been of no importance compared to Christ's transcendent love because he is declaring it is unconditional in these latter days so that he can stir up our love and pour out his spirit on all flesh so that he can save the earth through us. Amen.